Hey everyone, Dave Hunt here. I am uh, here to take this opportunity to give you guys some new information on ADS. In particular, the uh, in use and creation of encrypted components within ADS. This is a feature that's been around for a little while, but has been improved upon in the latest release of ADS by, uh, in fact, um, improving and really enhancing the connectivity ability of uh, utilizing encrypted components within ADS, in particular within RF Pro, our EM simulation environment. So what I'd like to do today is do a quick sort of from 30,000 foot walkthrough of how this process looks, what we're able to do in this process with the component, and show how that uh, utilizing that the encrypted component with ADS can be very advantageous to you in particular with regard to doing things like IP control uh, and in particular for doing things like PDKs. You know, that brings up a good point of why do you want to use an encrypted component? Um, PDK developers, um, IP developers are very particular about their IP and when sharing these items with customers, it's uh, very advantageous to be able to, of course, hide or, you know, put behind the curtain some of the more important aspects of that particular component. What I'm going to show today is doing exactly that. We're going to encrypt a component encrypt it really by, by selecting certain aspects of it and leaving other aspects of it unencrypted so that we can actually um, make use of it in terms of connectivity. So to start with, uh, my goal here is to begin with a component. And I'm gonna begin with that component here in our EM Pro environment. What you're seeing here is a, a KU band, a bandpass filter. This is a filter that was developed in ADS. Um, I've brought this design into ADS directly by way of the open access database. And I can now take this component inside of EM Pro and utilizing EM Pro in this particular uh, application just for the encryption process, okay? So I'm gonna walk through this process and I'll also be doing more of a streamlined flow here. Um, for example, I won't be showing you the process of creating an EM Pro library to bring into ADS. I'll uh, make some assumptions here that you've seen some of that. If not, I'd refer you to my colleague, Anurag Bhargava, and some of his uh, YouTube videos. He covers this in great detail. So what I'll do is, is I'm gonna start off by bringing this component into EM Pro. Uh, this environment allows you to, as you can see, see the actual design that was done in ADS. This is our uh, KU band filter utilizing our demo kit components. Very common set of components here. If I go into the actual import uh, and open it up inside of EM Pro, you'll notice that I have several different sections or components underneath the import that are part of the overall structure. What's nice about EM Pro is I can actually come through in, in sort of a line item fashion, select what I want to encrypt. I don't want to encrypt everything because once encrypted, the component becomes invisible and you cannot see these components. So once that happens, I'm able to you know, come back and say, well, what do I want to leave unencrypted? Well, obviously I want to leave unencrypted sections that I need to connect to. For example, pads or connection points on the design that have to be utilized inside my ADS layout for doing my EM design, which is my, what my final goal is here. So as you can see, I'm gonna come in here and select everything but layer M0. M0 is the layer that I want to connect to. So if I basically select everything but M0 in the design, right click and say encrypt, notice what happens. The design has gone invisible and I'm left with just a set of select components that are left visible. In this case, connection pad points and an actual via. And all the actual IP, the interconnect, the filter, if you will, has been left invisible. So what I do then is take the component here, save it, then create a ADS library, which I then bring into ADS to begin the process of import into the, uh, the EM uh, uh, simulation environment of uh, uh, RF Pro. So I'm gonna leapfrog into that now. So what I've done is I, I will create this library go into ADS, import that library in from EM Pro, 
And if I look at Manage Libraries in ADS, the one that I've actually created there is called Encrypt Top KU Filter Top Level Encrypted Lib. So this is now a library included in ADS. I've also created a new workspace that incorporates a QFN package to go along with this layout. So if I look at the package itself by itself, I can see that I have this nice little QFN package layout in ADS. I can also look at my um, overall assembly that I've created here of both the QFM package and the Q KU filter, top level filter that I've brought in from EM Pro. If I look at this and say, all right, well, how can I handle this? Let's go back and look at the, uh, the actual uh, technology setup here. I can create this component, this encrypted library component, just as I would any other um, uh, imported component in the ADS with use of smart mount. Now again, I'm streamlining a bit and not going too deep dive into smart mount, but you can also see some of Anurag's videos and he can review the smart mount process, but I am actually setting up this as a smart mount component and I'm gonna set this up and bring this in to my layout with the package by way of drag and drop. So in ADS, I've got the footprint I can drag it into the layout here like so in this fashion, select the layer that I want this particular layout to lay upon inside the ADS stack up and move ahead. And in fact, I've already done that sort of in cooking so fashion, I've already got the bacon Alaska already done for you here inside the layout. So I can actually even use my 3D viewer to do a little quick preview of this and sort of verify before I even go into RF Pro that I've got this properly set up and stacked up on my QFM package. And in fact, I do here. And note that I've actually got my encrypted component set up here with all of my IP in between the interconnect actually hidden from view so that it cannot be seen from the outside by um, inquiring eyes who may want to know what I have there. This is a very important point to make with regard to PDK development or disseminating data to customers, for example, that you may want to have not have them see some of your more critical IP. So as you see there, I've looked at that inside the 3D viewer. I can also bring this up inside of RF Pro, which I've already begun done here. And there I have my new setup here that is now ready to go for setting up a simulation. So what we can do is, is set up an interconnect from within RF Pro by way of, say, example, a bond wire. So I can start the process up and say, all right, my, my main launch into the, uh, into the packages from this layer. So I'm gonna create a bond wire from this tag to this connector. Hit done. I'm also gonna create another bond wire by way of this point here. This is the other launch point. So I'll take and right left click and select this launch point and I'll end it with this launch point. Well, I missed that up. So let's start all over. Of course, sometimes these don't go as you plan for them to go. So let's come in, create a new bond wire, launching it from this point to this point and done. So now, We've got our encrypted component with visible launch points. We need to be able to see what we're connecting to. We're not ready to simulate yet though. We actually have to define what material will go to our bond wire. So I'm gonna slide the perfect conductor material inside of a, uh, RF Pro and assign that to these particular um, bond wires. And there I have it. It's that simple. RF Pro makes the creation and use of encrypted components that simple and that easy. It's a super way to get um, encrypted components into an EM simulation environment. And I believe I actually have a simulation result that I ran earlier from inside of RF Pro. So I can look at S21. There is in fact my KU band bandpass filter results with both package and filter EM uh, technologies being utilized in a multi-tech smart mount scenario together. So this is just a nice, quick, short demonstration of how encrypted components can now be utilized quickly and efficiently 
from within uh, the uh, EMPRO and ADS environments. Uh, thank you for attention, and we hope to see you using ADS and EMPRO very soon. Thank you.